One, two. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> All right, let me pick it up. talking to you guys about how I managed to pay for dental school. So if you're asking yourself this question, let me just address it. No, I am not a stripper. That's not how I pay for dental school, despite all the ones that you see. No, I, I don't. I actually just went to the grocery store and asked for t change for a 20 in all ones. I got some looks, but I mean, whatever. It's worth it. All right, so let's get down to it. So first, the question is, how much does dental school actually cost? Well, fun fact, the school that I go to, Texas A&M College of Dentistry in Dallas, Texas, is the second cheapest dental school in the nation. The first cheapest being, I believe it's called the University of Puerto Rico. So the numbers that you'll see are gonna be significantly lower than what you'll see at other dental schools. Though I will give you an idea of what they charge too. So quickly, for in-state tuition at my school, it's about $30,000 per year. For out-of-state tuition, it's about $42,000 a year. Um, and that's the trend that you'll see with most schools. If you're from that state or if you've been living in that state for a certain amount of years, you can get in-state tuition, which is usually about ten dollars to like twelve or $13,000 cheaper than out-of-state tuition. Out-of-state tuition doesn't mean that you can't go to that school, it's just that you pay a little bit more, or not a little bit, a few thousand dollars more than you would if you were from that state. Don't ask me why, I don't know why, that's, that's just the way it is. So since I'm from Texas, I'm considered an in-state resident, and so I get charged the about $30,000 per year, and this is just an average, it fluctuates per year, but on average it's about $30,000 per year and then I kind of factor in the cost of living. And so, so most of the time schools do that for you and the cost of living is based on, you know, how much rent is in that area, um, the cost of food, the cost of transportation and all those sorts of things. And they kind of give you a rough estimate and what I estimate is about the same as what the school estimates. I kind of just go off of what the school says in terms of cost of living. So I budget about $20,000 for rent, food, groceries, emergencies, um, healthcare, all sorts of other stuff for the entire year in addition to that 30,000. So that brings me to about 50,000, roughly estimating what I'll need for the entire school year. And as you can see by my ones, I don't have $50,000 to just be like, here you go, Texas A&M. No, um, there are people though who can do that or whose parents can do that. I'm just not from one of those families. So there are about three ways you can go about paying for dental school. So one, like I said, you can pay out of pocket if you have the money available. That's great, more power to you. Um, two is from scholarships. Some people get pretty significant scholarships to go to dental school. I'm not one of them. I get grants here and there but no, no significant scholarships that's helped me pay for dental school. And then lastly, which is the majority of dental students, it's loans. And I know, I know, I know, nobody likes loans because with loans come this negative connotation of you know being in debt and being a slave to the government and the money not being your own, which I mean, in a way, it's kind of true. But this isn't the type of loan, it's not like just credit card loans, you know? It's loans that is an investment towards your future, and not just your future, but the future of your community and the future of the nation. And so when looking at your credit score and things like that, it won't be affected as like how it would be if you had like $50,000 in credit card debt. Student loan debt is totally, totally different. I personally have no problem with acquiring debt from paying for dental school or for education because I know I'm gonna be able to pay it off. And that's one thing, whatever career you choose, 
make sure that the amount of investment that you put into it, you can get that return and a hundred times the profit later on down the road. Or not a hundred times literally, but you can get a substantial profit from it later on. So we're gonna get real personal. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I take out in loans and exactly how much I will be paying back. So I have my iPad here with all my numbers and so I'm gonna go through it with you right now. So for loans this year, this 2020-2021 school year, I took out $49,817 in federal loans, okay? Because remember I told you I estimate I need about $50,000. But in addition to that, I also got $2,308 in grants. And what grants are, it's basically kind of like, you can think of it like a scholarship. It's a scholarship I didn't necessarily apply to. to. Um, but that I qualified for and so that means I don't have to pay that back. So total aid I received for this year is $52,125 just for my third year of dental school. So as you can kind of guesstimate, each year of dental school is about, it's going to cost me about $50,000. So that would bring me to about $2,000, I'm sorry, <laughs> I wish. $200,000 by the time I graduate, or less, or it's like slightly less than that. Which, compared to most other dental schools, that is very, very, very good. Um, the average dental student graduates with anywhere from four hundred dollars to five dollars to $600,000. So I'll take my little two hundred dollars and scurry on out of here because that's a really good deal. It's expensive. I'm not saying it's cheap but relative to other American dental schools, it's very good. So back to why I said I'm not worried about my student loans. Like I said, you wanna make sure you choose a career where you know you'll be able to pay off those loans. The average dentist in Texas makes $222,044. So I'm not, stressing about my $200,000 or less of student loans because I know I'm in a field where there are jobs. There are plenty of dentist jobs everywhere. I never have to worry about finding a job. And um, the, the, the hours and salary are flexible and I can go as big or small as I want. If I want to become a dentist that makes half a million or a million dollars a year, become a millionaire, I could do that. Or if I want to be, you know, just a dentist that, you know, makes enough to where I'm comfortable and my family's comfortable, then I can do that too. There is a, there's a lot of flexibility with this career. And also one big thing is that straight out of dental school, dental students in Texas at least make anywhere from like, on average, this isn't, you know, guaranteed, but my, what we've been told is to expect around one hundred thirty to one hundred sixty thousand dollars straight out of dental school. And again, I'm not saying all this to brag, but I'm saying it to educate people that do not understand how to pay for dental school, and they're afraid to take out loans. Loans are not always a bad thing. They can be a very, very good thing. They can get you to where you want to be, especially if you'll have the means to pay it back. So I often also get the question, do you work during dental school? Does anybody know work part-time or full-time during dental school? And the answer is no. Aside from babysitting and like tutoring, nah, I know, I think I've heard of a couple people who work on the weekends as a dental assistant. Y'all, y'all won't know until you're in it, but dental school is, it becomes your full-time job plus some. Like you're wor working at least like 50 hours, 60 hours a week on dental school and so there's not much room for everything, anything else and so ma the majority of my classmates, the majority of people I know rely on loans or they'll, um, like some of them are married and so they'll use the income from their spouse to pay for dental school and then take out less loans. They don't take out the full $52,000 like I do. But I'm single, well, I'm not single, but I'm not married. <laughs> And so that is not an option for me. And I'm not interested in a sugar daddy. So please, please, please stop DMing me. I'm not interested. I'm not. Okay, just had to say that. So I hope that clears up some questions about 
how to pay for dental school? It's a really easy answer. It's, it's loans. <laughs> student loans and those loans you get from the government and you get you you get them by applying for through FAFSA which I'll leave more information down in the description box below all like the technicalities and stuff but again don't be afraid to take out student loans when it comes to dental school or medical school you'll be okay you can return them you will be okay so that's it for today. I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, comment below any questions you might have. And I hope that you all have a wonderful week, a wonderful weekend, a wonderful year. 2020 is almost done. Thank the Lord. <laughs> all right, peace. All right, let me pick it up. <laughs> Okay, didn't feel as good as I thought it would, but it still felt good. All right.